Today I'm going to show you how to get Windows Movie Maker to actually work for Windows 10. I've, many of you who are like me use uh, MP4 video file formats, uh, such as anyone who would use, say, uh, NVIDIA's Shadow Play. It saves in that form. Uh, I also hear that the GoPro cams also use MP4. So it's not exactly an uncommon file format. And I do believe it also uses the ACC audio encoding. Now, it has taken me a long time. I finally stumbled across this page uh, through searching on Google. And so I noticed this, uh, you know, what kind of files can I use in Movie Maker? Now, I used to have no problem before I upgraded to Windows 10. I was running Windows 7 before. So under video files, yeah, I'm going down looking at this, I'm like, okay, okay. And I see MP uh, MPEG-4 movie files, which includes the .mp4 extension. Now I'm thinking, well, if it can play that, then why does it not play it? I, for example, I've been playing uh, Fallout 4 and I like to upload some videos every now and then, but the quality has been terrible because I've had to directly upload the video and YouTube for some reason does not like MP4. It's all blurry. So, if I were to, say, open with Movie Maker, I use this. And <laughs> so, I used to be able to do it. So, it's like, well, what's, what's the big idea here? You know, so double click to fix, and it says, well, we can fix it by removing it. It's like, well, that didn't fix it. That just deleted it from the project. That did nothing for me. So, I, when I realized that on this page here, as you go down into the notes, there is an area which uh, I believe right here. If you notice that, it says that I, it's basically meant for Windows 7. And it was working for me on Windows 7. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe the solution is actually as simple as what I think it may be. So you do a right click down here while the program is open. You know, if you don't know where it's located on the disk, you just do properties, open file location, boom, there's your file right there. Let's go ahead and close out the program. Now, I'm going to just do a right click. Any gamer already knows about this tab right here, the compatibility tab. Now, I highly recommend you do change settings for all users using your administrative capabilities, which everybody who's got their own personal computer should be able to do admin. Now, if you're on a family computer or something and you know you're a kid and you've got you know parental restrictions and stuff get, get your parents to do this for you uh, you're going to want to run the program as administrator that'll allow the program to change uh, files uh, that have to do with the system and whatnot which it probably won't have to do but it's always good to do it all right windows 7 just run the program compatible for windows 7 hit apply do okay and okay again Go ahead and close that out. Now open your video again uh, as you normally would. And voila, look at that. Ain't that something? So of course I gotta you know decode it, do all that, you know, blah 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 with the video playback. If you've done this before, you've seen that window plenty of times, you know that this is a normal type of thing. And uh <clears throat> so yeah that's really how you fix it you don't have to worry about downloading some crazy codecs from some website or something I just saw all these things saying oh you need to download these codecs you need to install them uh, you need to open Windows Movie Maker and go to the tools option and it's like well uh, excuse me there's no tools option anywhere nowhere they're like you know you go to tools and then options it's like well okay options and it's like, yeah, it'll show you a list of codecs, and you have to select them. Um, no, I don't see any list of codecs anywhere. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see. Got it. Yeah, so there we go. And by the way, this video you will see on uh, YouTube. 
So nothing too spectacular, just kind of showing off the first level of one of the more advanced perks. But anyway, that is how you fix it. It's that simple. It really is. Can you imagine that? All that headache that you've had trying to find it, and it's really that simple to fix. You don't need anything special. It's just a matter of permissions. That's all. That's it. So I hope this has helped you. Uh, I'm going to do one last little rundown just to remind you of how it was actually done. Uh, when you open up your file, you know, you're going to have the Windows thing down here. You do a right click. You, know, you get this here. Click Open File Location. That will get you there. Uh, it should be by default on your computer under Program Files x86, Windows Live, Photo Gallery, MovieMaker.exe. Right click on that. Properties, Compatibility tab. Change settings for all users, and you're going to click Administrator and Run Compatible for Windows 7. Apply, OK, and then OK again, and there you go. It's that simple. All right, hope that helped you, and uh, <laughs> you're welcome.